Hello, welcome to IC3D people. Today we're going to take a look at creating some stylized grass and the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to make some quick and easy grass that's super cheap. Um, and by cheap I mean not taxing on your the performance of your PC. And um, this is the this is what we're going to end up with. This is what we're going to end up with, or something close to it anyway. And of course the baby cries. So uh, let's get started. All right, so let's uh, close this one off, move it out the way. Okay. So right now we have a cube, which we're going to delete. And what we're going to do is press shift A for a mesh and we're going to hit plane. Uh, then we're going to hit S to scale uh, and we're going to uh, make this bigger, uh, just choose however big you want to make it, that seems okay to me. Um, what you can do is press zero to frame it, so uh, go into your camera and you can get a rough idea how big it needs to be. Um, shift tilde to go into fly mode and then we can sort of see what the frame's going to look like, something like that will do. Okay, uh, zero to get out of the camera and back into user, user perspective. Uh, okay, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to tab to go into edit mode. In edit mode, I'm going to right click on the plane and I'm going to click on subdivide. Uh, down here in the bottom left, I'm going to click on the subdivide options and I'm going to push that up to 50. Okay, now uh, we have uh, this plane subdivided, um, which is important because what I want to do next is I want to click on a vertex and on one of these vertex points, I want to change the height. Now, the reason I'm changing the height is to give the, uh, the ground some depth and it'll also give me an opportunity for when we're shading to um, color based on height. So let's uh, grab one of these, press G and uh, what you can do is, oops, let's click on proportional editing. Okay, so what you can do now, so, so now it's going to do proportional editing. Use the mouse wheel to um, make the proportional edit bigger or smaller, depending on how you want to how you want to do this. I'm going to choose about there, and I'm just going to raise it up, uh, maybe bigger there. Now you can start to see we're getting some height, uh, and then what you can do then is make them smaller, bigger, and I'm just going to randomly go around and do some things here to give some depth and I'm going to make this bigger. Put that down, up, down. So you kind of get the idea. It's just about creating some random uh, depth and height to this plane. Uh, and then you can make it smaller. There's no right or wrong way here, I don't think. Cool, so that will do. So now we've got some depth. Now the next bit we can do is add a particle system. So I'm gonna go back to object mode by pressing tab. Then I'm going to click on um, this button here, which is the particle properties. And I'm gonna click plus. Now, default, it will have it on emitter. We want to put it on hair. Uh, so that's way too tall. So I'm going to put this down to like 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Uh, that seems okay. Maybe bigger. You can uh, make this big as small, as small as big as you want. It depends on your taste. And I'm going to increase this a lot. So um, probably... 400,000, 500,000 is probably what you want, but 
Let's just uh, put it to 100,000 to start with. Okay, cool. So now you can start to see we have, we have something almost resembling grass. Um, what we can do now is just uh, come down to advanced, click on advanced. And then in advanced, we want to go to the physics uh, section and this Brownian uh, part. I don't actually know what this does, but from a visual point, it'll displace it a bit or break it up a bit. So it's just kind of like bending the, bending the, uh, the particle hairs. If you know what it's actually, what it's actually doing and what the physics component of it is, put it down in the comments. Um, so yeah, that looks good. Something like that. So now you can see we're kind of getting something grassy. Um, and I feel like we need some more variation in the height. Just looking at this. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. So what you can do now is click on this, press tab, that'll take away the particles and you can see the thing, uh, see the plane again. So let's uh, jump back in uh, while holding down this button. Let's zoom up. There we go, it's looking good. That'll do. Tab again. And that looks slightly better. Okay, so now what we can do is, um, I don't think we really need to do too much else in this um, in this particle system um, area. Uh, one thing I will do later is come back and just increase this, but we'll just keep it for 100,000 now just to, just to give us um, better performance. Um, yes, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go to our shading tab. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to go over to render because we're in Eevee at the moment. So um, that's all good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is create a new material. All right. So the first thing I want to do is create a uh, texture coordinate. So let's go while hovering in this shading nodes area, we're going to go shift A, and then we're going to go to search. I just like using search because I don't know where everything is. Uh, type in texture and I want coordinates. So texture coordinates, put that down. The next one is shift A again, and I'm going to put in the mapping node. Okay, and then I'm going to hook up generated to vector. Just like that. Cool. Now I'm going to go shift A again, search. And now this is where I want to find a separated X, Y, Z. Now what this is going to do is separate, separate out the vectors in the mapping and that'll give us the ability to apply color uh, based on height. So that's why it was important to create various uh, difference in heights in the, um, in the plane. So what we can do is go shift A again and go to color ramp. Okay. Now we can take the Z or the Z and put it into the FAC and the fact color into the base color of this principal BSDF. Now you can start to see the high points and the low points based off this color here. So if you grab this node and start to drag it up and down, you can start to see where the color is going to bleed in and bleed out. So, Uh, yep, cool. So what I think I will do is, looks like I've got a lot of, mm, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, what I might do is I'll just grab this light, go G, pull it up a bit. 
the light's just a little bit too underwhelming. Come over to the light and we're around a thousand. Let's make this 10,000. There we go. Okay, click back on here. And I think we just don't have enough um, high and low points in the um, in the center. So what I might do is go edit, uh, click on a vertex G. So you go, uh, so the higher we go, the brighter it gets. The lower we go, the darker it gets. So I might just put it around there, just for a little bit more variation. So much there, something like that. Okay, and maybe one over here, just to. And then I'm just going to hit zero just to check my camera to see where a good frame would be. So something like that might be okay, but I don't like the corners in my thing, so I might just put it like that. Okay, that'll do for now. Zero again to. Uh, come out of the camera. Now, what we can do here is start adding our color. So you can go crazy here and add whatever color you feel like. Uh, I'm going to add in another node. And what we're going to do is we're going to gradually change the color. So um, I think I like sort of these high points to be like a yellowish kind of, not too yellow, maybe that's too bright. Uh, something like that. Yeah, because that kind of makes sense, right? It's higher to the sun, so, so it's more likely to get burnt. For this color here, let's make this a green. Oh, and by the way, I'm still in edit mode, so what we can do, because it doesn't really look like too much, uh, we can come out of edit mode, go into object mode, okay. And that sort of starts to give you a better idea what this is starting to look like. Um, and let's change this black color if it will let me click on it apparently not there we go to uh, a darker green something like that okay cool so now we can start to see. So this uh, this green's a bit too. It's a bit too bright for me. Okay, and this yellow is also a bit too bright for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I like. Yeah. Right there. Right there. It's a good spot. Okay, so now we have grass. Um, now, the only thing I'm gonna do is jump back into the particle system and I'm just gonna increase this to 400,000. There we go. And now we have some nice thick grass. And uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. And the last thing to do is hit zero, press the F12, and of course it goes onto the other screen. And we have some grass. Okay, so uh, thanks for sticking around and, and watching the, um, the video and the tutorial. Um, just a reminder, if you haven't already, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, um, click the like button, um, and if you want to know when more of these come out, just uh, click the notification button as well. Um, thanks again. Take it easy, guys, and uh, take care. Bye.